So hi everyone, it's uh, Dominic with uh, Phoenix Contact. So today I will show you how to use uh, the software called Startup Plus to start with our Passcoupler Axioline series. So the software can be used with any of the uh, Axioline Passcoupler that Phoenix have. So the Mudbus one, the Profinet, Internet IP, uh, Ethercat. Uh, any of the bus coupler we have, but also some of the controller we have, which is the Axial Line Controller 1050 and Axial Line Controller 3050. So just before this uh, session, I have entered the IP address of the uh, inside the uh, the bus coupler I'm going to use. So this is the only step I have did uh, before this uh, video. So creating a new project, so we just pick which bus coupler we would like to use. So all the bus coupler that are available are inside that list. So EtherCAT, Internet IP, uh, Modbus, any of those. So uh, today the one I have next to me is the SAS, which is the IEC 61850 bus coupler. So the one that is capable of doing MMS and Goose Telegram. So it can do um, publish and subscribe no problem with this so just gonna open uh, the connection using the uh, IP address and I'm gonna press continue so it's gonna scan the bus coupler and discover what are the card inside and load the configuration for all those card so really easy so right now it's it's connecting to the bus coupler reading all the configuration and creating the uh, and connecting all those configuration inside the DTM uh, template. So right now we are at the uh, the first uh, 32 input. So the first 32 input it's uh, save everything is good. So now it's going to jump to the four RTD input and after that we will go to the um, uh, digital output, 16 output. So this is what is right now connect to my bus coupler. So as you can imagine inside this project, I can have multiple bus coupler. I can give name to all those bus coupler. I can have, uh, I will see all the card uh, attached to it. And I will be able to have all configuration we have created for all the bus coupler. So inside one project, you can have multiple bus coupler with multiple card. You can see all the diagnostic and everything. So the two step we will do together today, it's first we will configure the RTD input card because those analog RTD card need to be um, need to be uh, we need to enter some parameter according to the sensor we are connecting to it and the digital input and output no configuration required and after that we will do the IO check so IO check is a way to be able to read all the input and force all the output without the need of having a master or a PLC attached to it so first we're going to go and go online with this. I double click on it and it's going to open all parameter and I got all channel over here. So let's say in my channel two, I would like to change the setting. So I just pick whatever I want. I press apply and when I press OK, I will download that new configuration into the uh, bus coupler. If you don't remember the configuration, it's possible to upload the configuration and you can also use that arrow to download the configuration. So let's say everything is done, you don't need to press apply because each time you are changing something, it's going to ask you to apply first because there, there is a, a change, a possibility of change over here. So after everything is configured, we are able to go online and do the IO check. So I just got to press go online with the 32 input and I'm going to pick right click function IO check. So IO check with a digital input. So I just got to press refresh. So it's scanning right now. It's going to show you the value in binary. So uh, bit by bit, decimal and hexadecimal. 
So when everything is ready, all light over here will go white and we are able to, uh, I will connect a wire and you will see that uh, it's, it's ready to, to change state. So when everything is connected, we'll see that all light are white right now. So I'm just going to activate the second light. So this is the light I am activating right now. So as you can see the from the software, it's possible to do the complete IO check using digital input. So we will do the exact same thing using the RTD card. So function IO check. So for everything that is analog, it's going to be a little bit different because they're going to show you uh, a graphic. So you can you can see the value on directly on a graphic, and you can do also uh, log everything. So you can log everything into a TXT file, so you can follow for a maximum of five minutes what is going on. So if you need to activate somehow, you know the. Uh, the, a level of something or the temperature you will see right away what it's it's look like and what kind of data will be sent directly to the PLC so inside the RTD card I can press over here on refresh pick the one I would like to see and right now I have the temperature, which is, which is uh, 23.30. So as you can see over here on the graphic. So I'm just gonna play a little bit with the sensor so you will see the temperature uh, going up. And under process volume over here, you are seeing that the temperature is changing and now we have a graphic view also of the temperature. So you will, you will have the exact same thing using the analog input and on the analog output you can drive the actual output using those uh, process bar over here. So I'm just going to press refresh off and we're going to connect to the digital output 16 output card over here. So we click on the digital output, we press connect right click function IO check so I'm just gonna press refresh so it's gonna connect to it so now that we are in uh, refresh on function so we are able to see uh, in binary decimal and exadecimal so I just have to as you can see there is a small n so I just need to click over here if you like to force the output yes so I just need to click which output I would like to force and it's gonna force it so you can force it using binary decimal hexadecimal you can write a, a, a specific value clear all or set all value so this is everything you can uh, you can do also so testing the output really easy with this uh, IO check function so it's really interesting to be able to force the output, which is, you know, analog input, digital output, read the input, any kind of input, analog, RTD, digital, and do the complete IO check without the need of adding the final PLC or the, fa the final master or the final server. So really easy. So that's what I have prepared for, for you today. So for any question, you can reach tech support at phoenixcontact.ca. And thank you.